Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 333 Tarot and with Spirit and we're just going to jump right in here Pisces and see what's going on with you today. All right, this is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Jupiter, Pluto, and Chiron, okay? I'm, oh, and Saturn. I'm like, I'm, fuck, I got to think of all the planets here. I'm trying to get every, I don't know, Pisces. Okay, this is for all the Pisces placements. Okay, Pisces. <laughs> But anyway, Pisces, um, so of course it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings, I'm, I'm, I'm like blanking out. Anyway, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. All right. Thank you, Pisces. Let's start with some opening oracle messages here for you, Pisces. Mystery and magic. Magic, spirituality. Ooh. All right. Let's see here, Pisces, what we got. What do we got here, Pisces, for you? Okay, nice. Okay, okay. So we have here um, completion in reverse. Uh, complacency. Okay. Faith in reverse mysticism, growth in reverse, and gratitude upright. Yes, Pisces, despite whatever's going on, you're still grateful at the end of the day for what's happening. Maybe not for like for the like the negative or sad bad parts. You're grateful for the good in life, like things that are still kind of like worth it and ideal and happy for you. Okay, in some way, shape, or form here. There is, I don't know if it's, I mean, geez. Because for some of you, someone could have passed away. And gosh, that's going to be a lot. Like, of course, you're not going to. It's a journey and a process, Pisces. It is, it is. For some of you, if that's the case, if it's literally that. But for the majority of you, there's something here that you know needs to be done. It may end soon. I don't know. Um, but you're not wanting to, okay? And that's okay. Instead, you're just going to be complacent. You're just going to kind of... About it. Like, I don't know. That's causing you to lose faith in yourself. And that's the worst thing a Pisces can do is not have faith in themselves. Then your magic is gone, okay? But you're clearly, you know... I'm going to say if it's... But see, you're in mysticism here, meaning... Maybe it's not that. The Pisces charm, the Pisces magic isn't gone. It's like, and what I mean by that, I'm not meaning, I don't mean like real, like, you know, magic. I mean like Pisces, you know, energy, the Pisces vibe, you know. I think you might just not have belief in something that you do. You may not trust who you're with. You may not trust yourself at times. Some, it's like you, you could be an atheist, whatever. You may not care about faith and hope and religion and spirituality. I don't know. You definitely are into the divine occult things or divination, whatever. Not for all of you. Others of you, it's just kind of like you're just trying to kind of figure some things out hidden. Whatever that is, it's causing you to not want to really grow and transform in life and change in some way, shape, or form. I don't know what it is. But like I said, at the end of the day, you're just going to be grateful for what you got and what's going on and what's happening. So let's just see here with the tarot, okay? What's going on?
Okay, well. Hmm. Well, because the oracle's like, you don't want to end this. And then life come. I, I'm going to say either you agreed in the tarot that it's done or life came in. It's like, no, it's over. Like, close the cycle out. It's done. I don't know. Because then it's like, shut down. Boom. Done. Closed. Whether you wanted it or not, I don't know. Then something with money feels stuck and stagnant. I don't know what happened. It's like things are too slow or you're overworking yourself where there's no results. That's caused you to either have to cling on to others to make money or, or, or only be financially dependent on someone. Or you want a lot more for yourself, but you may not really want to put in the real work it takes for that either or I don't know. Then there's no progression or movement and then justice gets served here. I'm thinking it works with you. I hope. I'm going to clarify and see what's going on. You may just want to finally just be like, fuck it. Let me just take care of this. It could be legal stuff. It could be divorce for somebody. It could just be just smoothing things out, you know. So I'm going to clarify here. All right, Pisces, and see what's happening here with you. Because, yeah, let's see here. Nice. Yeah, fuck yeah. Okay, you did it yourself. You closed this. Okay, okay. Ooh, hold on. A new, and this is new chapter, Pisces. First of all, opportunity. And you're like, fuck, I don't know. I'm scared. Boom, fuck it. I'm going to be me and do this. Boom, 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 boom. Romance. Romancing the stones. I don't know what's going on here. This is fine. Either friend, lover, romance, you know, flirtation, or you are just feeling really good. And you're working with this new chapter, this new cycle in your life. That's really beautiful and healthy for you. I like that. That's fun. Okay. It's actually a movie, Romancing the Stone, but I forgot how it ends and how it goes. You may want to watch it. I don't know. Or you may know the movie. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so it's, it's at work, the workplace, co-workers, who you work with, your career path, job. Wanting to collaborate, I don't know, either or, that's really good there. You're putting in the effort and work there. But that's what's, okay, so for some reason that is good, but then it makes you want to do something that's not going anywhere with you. It's not moving you forward. You keep bringing in baggage from the past. You keep talking or saying or doing something that's not helping you. That's what's causing the stagnation or the repetitiveness, but nothing's happening. Okay, so either or. Okay. Well, there you are being giving and equal and loving like you're 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 sharing, you know, like you're doing something that's like helpful and giving and equal for you and to others. Like you're benefiting and you're benefiting others or be, maybe being of service, I don't know. But see right after that, it makes you feel like um are you not happy enough with it? Like now, for some of you, this could be a dynamic with a relationship, partnership, friendship, business stuff. I don't know. But it's kind of like your image, wealth, money, status. You, do you not feel like you want to show yourself? There's something about... I heard pampered princess, but not in a bad way. Like, you, you like that. Like, you like, you know what I mean? Aesthetic and pampered. Why not? Fuck. It's a good thing. <laughs> Um, but it's, so I, I don't know, something or someone's making you feel an insecure or you may not love who you're in a relationship or marriage with or your level of success or status, what you do. It may not, it may be like, ugh, you know, like very like, fuck, so annoying, you know, kind of an energy either or. But that is what's making you kind of like not want to try that hard. And it makes sense. I think it's external things messing with you versus you or, you know what I mean? Something with money and business. Could be a person for some of you. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Oh, shit. It's because you're doing something from the past that's not really working. It's how you're doing it. 
and I don't know what it is. If you want to go back to your toxic ways, if you want to go back to an ex or an ex friend or an ex like you were like fleeing, maybe they're robbing you of money or they're going to make you think you're doing well and you're not. I don't know. Because it's kind of like if you go back to someone, especially business wise, they will fucking stunt you and stop you. If you're trying to go back to someone that you think is going to help you financially, they will mess you up. It's, it's okay. So be careful. Um, for others of you, it's kind of like going back to these things from the past or maybe a bad memory. Maybe you haven't healed uh, from or let go of something very, you know, bad taste in your mouth kind of an energy. Whatever it is, it's linking once again to you being independent, very business and or career path or future. You're not wanting to be long term, you, you know, to put in the effort and the work, but you're wanting money maybe off of someone or something. All that is what's making you stuck and stagnant and not go nowhere, okay? Excuse me. Okay. Okay, I heard, fuck it, I'm gonna just be me and do it, that I'm gonna, I'm gonna be me. Fuck it, I'm just gonna be me and do it right. Whatever that means to you, I don't know. Now, for some of you, you may have just said, fuck it, like, I'm going to just keep going. I'm just going to be, you know, I'm just going to move on. And then justice gets, you know, smacks you. But I don't know. I feel like you're working with it. I do. I Because I, I feel like you're like, no, I'm going to head. I'm going to head towards the Libra. Or I'm going to approach and go towards where I need to go. I'm going to do what I need to do. And I think you're going to do it fair and square. Okay? Fair and square the right way. Okay? That's what I feel you're going to do. Contracts, legal stuff, you know what I mean? Sign the contract, legal matters, whatever it is, divorce, whatever court. You just being really balanced. You actually being of the books, by the books, okay? Something here. Because all of a sudden, you feel really good to be authentically you and true. And you stand on it, you know what I mean? So that's what I got for you. We have here... Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Heavy, Libra, Cancer. Okay, that's what I got for you. Thank you, bye.